So capturing our moments is a wonderful thing that we can share with others. But a lot of times we get a little confused on how do we actually share this information with other people now that we have it all in our Google Photos. So this is going to be a very easy to follow kind of I'm going to show you and you're going to do uh, type of video that we're going to look and we're going to actually copy this image here. We're going to copy it in to multiple areas. We're going to copy it into an email. We're going to attach it as an email. We're going to attach it to a WhatsApp chat. And of course, a WhatsApp chat, chat could be like a chat from your phone or whatever and show you kind of how the, the strategies are that you can use Google Photos. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. Okay, so the first thing we want to know is how do we get to Google Photos? So let's go ahead and, and pull the window up. So Daisy, it just wants to do all kinds of things with it today. Let's go ahead and just pull the window in here real quick. Open up a new tab. And how do we get to Google Photos? The first thing we want to do, so this is step one. First thing we want to do is go to Photos. And you're going to have to see another video. I'm not going to go through it on how to set up Google Photos on your phone. So see another one of my videos. But here for those of you um, that are tuning in here, let's go to Google Photos. But because this is already pre-set up, I'm gonna go ahead and do what we did in another video, um, which is go to a profile here that hasn't been set up, okay? So here we're gonna just say photos, okay? Dot google.com okay and so that's pretty easy and it's just going to get you into your photos of where you want to go okay so the next step so that's it google photos.google.com okay photos.google.com i'm going to write it out one more time photos in case you're not in case i lost you there okay photos.google.com so if you haven't done this yet, open up your browser and type in photos.google.com for me. All right. Perfect. Now, if you notice here, it's going to put it here's Google Photos. It's going to automatically create this if you're using Google Chrome, which is nice. You could also here at this point, you could save this just by clicking on this star right here. We're going to bookmark it and we're just going to say, OK, and view another video on how to get to your bookmarks. Uh, we can't say everything in every video, so let's just stay focused here. So here, let's go to Google Photos. So we can click it here or here. So go to Google Photos. And here it's going to ask you for your log on information. We're going to dismiss that. We're going to put in our log on information. So go ahead and type whatever that looks like for you. And we're going to meet back after we sign on. So we're going to hit our, we're going to type in our email and hit next. Then we're going to type in our password and hit next, and then I'll meet you on the other side. So go ahead and do that, and I'll wait for you. Well, congratulations. Now you're into Google Photos, and it, and everything's working. As you can see here, we have a few uh, Google Photos in here, and I'll show you how to share Google Photos. We're going to do quite a few videos on Google Photos, so stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and go back. So that's how we do it. We get into Google Photos. Let's stop there. We're going to go back to the other browser that I've set up here because I've already pre-set this up. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things we want to get accomplished. Let's go ahead and dump this, first of all. Let's go ahead and dump this picture right here into a Google chat. Okay? So, I'm, I'm sorry, into a WhatsApp chat. So let me resize this so you can see what's going on here. Alrighty, and um, I'll look, let's see here. Okay, so let's go ahead and we want to take this Google photo right here and we want to drop it in. We're going to just say here, nice picture. Okay, all we do is hold down our left mouse button. Okay, just hold down our left mouse button and see how I'm holding it down and I'm just dragging it. Okay, drag, drag, drag. I'm just gonna click it and I'm gonna release it there. Okay, but now notice that it doesn't give us the picture, it just gives us the internet link. So we don't want that, do we? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and back out of there. 
All right, and we're going to discard that message. So let's go ahead and do it a different way. So how do we do it the next way? So let's go ahead and um, go in, and we're going to save this image. Now, we can use a saved image for many reasons, but let's go ahead and try this way first. We're going to save it in one way, and then the other one, we're going to go ahead and copy and paste it. Okay, so here, we've just gone ahead inside of our Google Photos, and we've clicked on it. And when we click on it, it opens it up to a bigger picture. Okay, and now we want to save this, and we want to put it over here to WhatsApp. So let's go ahead and do that together. We're going to do a right-click on the image, and do you see where it says Copy Image? Just going to click on copy image all right so again click right click we did a right click on your mouse remember there's the left mouse click button and the right click mouse click button so you're going to do a right click and hit copy image and then you're just going to go over to here to whatsapp you're just going to click inside do you notice where my cursor is down there it's a blinking white right after nice picture and then I'm going to do a right click here and I'm going to hit paste. See it right there? Paste. Now the picture shows up as a normal picture. I can also do other things inside of WhatsApp, which we're not really uh, going to do. All right. And then we're going to just hit send. And then this um, will send over as an image. Notice it's uploading and now uh, it's communicated out in WhatsApp. Great, easy stuff, right? Let's do the same thing. Let's do the same concept here with an Outlook message. So here I can just say, nice picture if I'm sending it via email. So you may wanna send a message in email. To do that again, if we wanna copy and paste the image, we're just going to do a right click and hit copy image. Now I want you to note that if you do a right click here, do you notice that it doesn't have copy image on it? Only when you get to the fuller screen do you have copy image. So we're going to hit copy image again. We're just going to paste it in. Now this time I'm going to do copy image, but here instead of doing paste, okay, which we could paste, you can see. I'm going to do what they call as control V. And here's just a little trick here. Put some text in here, for example, so you can write in it. And then you can post in the, the image. But you're going to see something that happens. Now, to, to post this image in, we're going to hold down. I'm going to write it on the screen here for you, okay? Hold down the control key. So look on your keyboard right now. You're going to see some keys that are marked CTRL. Okay, hold down the control key. Okay, while holding the control key down, okay, press V on your keyboard, then release all keys. Okay, so when I type, at least I go slow with the instructions. So here, we're going to just paste this in, hold down the control key. While holding the control key, press V, as in Victor, then release all keys. Release all keys. All right. Notice now we've got the picture, but we need to image it because it's a little bit big for this email message. Okay? Because it's a big mess, big thing. So let's go ahead and resize this. To resize it, we're just going to click here once. Okay, and then we're just going to use our little arrow. See how we're just kind of moving it and kind of changing the size of it. Okay, and so now you have a smaller image. Pretty nice, huh? And then you just put in whoever you want to send this email message to, and away it goes. So that's certainly one way to do it. The last way that we're going to look to do it is we're going to insert this picture as an image. So let's go ahead and go back to Google Photos here. Notice here that we can save the link, but we want to save the picture itself. So there's a couple ways we can do this. One, we can go to here and say Save Image As. Do you see it right there? Again, using the right mouse button, we're going to hit Save Image As. 
If we hit save image as, it's going to come up with a box and it's going to say, where do you want to save that? I'm just going to say here and I'm going to give it a name. We're just going to say McKay and Ruth. Okay, then we're going to just click on save. Now, by the way, using spaces and names is not usually something that I like to do. So, but you can see I do it all the time. But here it is right here, McCain Ruth. Then you hit save. Okay, and, the, and then it'll go and you'll see it right here under downloads. There it is right there. So if you're using Chrome, you would just click on this arrow right here. If you're not using Chrome, when you hit save image as, you need to pay attention to where you're saving it. Okay, so maybe your desktop or downloads, wherever that is, you need to write that down and know where you saved it. Okay, and there it is right there, by the way. So, or you can go here and click on this and say, just mouse over with the left mouse button, just click on show in folder. Okay, so we can see it that way as well. But for us, what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to this email. And to attach it to the email, we're going to click on the paperclip, wherever that is. So you're going to have to find it on whatever um, email client you're using. I happen to be using Outlook. So here, if I click on the down arrow, notice that it tells me what the most recent things are that I've done, which is McKay and Ruth, the JP. And you notice here when I highlight over it, Notice here that it gives me the full name of that file, which is a .jpg. I'm just going to click on that. Now, when they receive this, notice you get the little thumbnail picture. When they receive it, they'll be able to open it, and it's a file that they can use. Pretty darn cool. Uh, one last way to save this information or to save this file. If I click, if I highlight over in Google Photos and I just click on the little check mark there, I can go up here to my three dots and again, I can click on download. Now, if I hit download, notice it says downloading in the bottom and notice here, it just downloaded it and then it shows up again. So I need to see where did that go? It just downloaded it, but where did it go? So, so for some people, this is a little confusing. So you're gonna have to know where it went in your browser. In Chrome, you have this little um, arrow that shows downloading into a folder box. You could also get to that by clicking on here and go to downloads. Now, do you see where it says downloads? It shows me that the content was delivered, but where is it? I'm just going to click on show in folder. When I hit show in folder, notice here that it downloaded again right to my local hard drive. And in this example, I'm going to go ahead and add this. Let's remove this attachment. I'm going to go ahead and add this as an attachment using drag and drop. So to drag and drop, I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button right over the picture. Notice that it's highlighted there, and I'm just going to carefully drag it. I'm going to put it wherever I want it. If I put it at the top, there it goes, it just pops right in. Now I can type my email message and now it's an attachment. And if I double click on it, it'll open up, okay? That's as simple as it is. So now you know how to share your pictures with anybody and everybody. Um, you can do that in multiple ways using uh, Google Photos. It's a great way to kind of share those memories with others. And we're going to talk a little more about Google Photos here in other videos, so stay tuned.